Yo, what's going on there, guys? I'm back with another one, and today we're going to talk about this bombshell Rachel Nichols just dropped in the midst of all the Twitter asking for her to return to the jump, which is now known as NBA Today, uh, moderated by Malika Andrews with, with the recent mishaps in the news with her. Malika started out, everybody was excited to see her get this job. Um, Rachel's audio came out about Maria Taylor. Maria Taylor moved on to NBC Sports and she's doing big things. Much kudos to her moving up in journalism. But shortly after, we didn't really see Rachel no more over the last year or so. And Malika is kind of taken over and pretty much uh, within the last, I'd probably say the last three or four months, maybe, well, a little longer than that. There's been little incidents, but over the last three or four months, a lot of things has happened that's kind of made NBA fans turn their nose up. You know, I, I can name a few incidents. Like, for instance, the one thing she she said about Kobe, um, about his leadership, that was kind of tasteless. The way she went about it, you know, um, kind of diminishing his legacy shortly uh, I, you know, Kobe's death is still fresh on a lot of our minds, you know, that grew up watching Kobe. And that's a touchy topic. I mean, you can have a list and have people over him on your list, but to kind of down talk him, um, you know, that that's not good for us basketball fans. We actually hate it. So um, we ain't going to accept that. Been an issue. I mean, when Kobe, Dwight, and Nash all had injuries, though, they didn't win a playoff game. They got to the playoffs, though. But they didn't win a game, neither this Lakers team. The year 19, when he was averaging 22 on 37% shooting, Kobe did. The Lakers, they went 10 and 25 in the games that he played in. So I, I, I'm not sure it's – I understand what you're saying, Matt, but I'm not so, so sure it's say, well, Kobe Bryant would have been the white horse. If no. uh, also, you have several incidents where she goes at Kendrick Perkins, man. I remember the Dylan Brooks foul on Gary Payton III. The way she she came at all those guys, Richard Jefferson, Matt Barnes, Kendrick Perkins, guys who's played the game, trying to say that that foul wasn't dirty when that was a clear windup um, with some intention behind it. He fouled him on purpose and he did it right. with intentions. OK, let's we get that out that. the way. Here's the thing that we have to. He, nah, I mean, you, looking at the play, I, you, I, you can't. You I'm, can't I'm look at a person. Yes, you, yeah, but you're no, making no, an assumption. Yes, you can't. No, you can't no, look at a yes, person I, and know yes, what their intent was. It was a dangerous play, yeah, regardless. I but you can't. Yeah. Okay, I, I didn't realize we had a bunch of mind readers. I'm going to call him. Okay, please continue. Okay. Uh, you have to look at the situation with Stephen A. Smith. Pretty much, when Stephen A. was making this point, he was like, he wanted Ime Yudoka and the woman held responsible. And she went to saying, oh, this isn't about uh, pointing the blame. Basically, we just talking about Yudoka. You can't bring one person to the fire with two adults in a consenting relationship. So that's the point Stephen A. was trying to make. But Malika wanted to go at him as if he was trying to say that uh, Yudoka should be exalted and she should be thrown in the fire. And that's not what Stephen A. was saying. But she tried to twist it into that. Holly, thank you. If I could first start start with this. Stephen A., with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. This is being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make is just like you you're not listening. Excuse, me, excuse, not me, excuse at... me, excuse me. I listen to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Okay, that's number one. Oh, yeah, the Boston Celtics head coach. You know, that situation, too, where she was bringing up his past like they tried to do with Chauncey Billups when he was uh, trying to get the Portland Trailblazers job. You know, they were talking about something that happened at Colorado that was thrown out, I believe. She tried to do that same thing with the Boston Celtics coach, ran down his long list of things in the past that was done. And she has a history of doing that. She would just out of nowhere bring up what you did 25 years ago what you did 10 years ago what you did 15 years ago 
I'd be remiss not to also mention that Missoula was arrested twice at West Virginia, once in 2008 for underage drinking and aggravated assault. He pled guilty, paid a fine, and then again in 2009 for domestic battery after an incident at Morgantown Bar. The domestic battery case never went to trial. It was settled in August of 2009. He paid a $100 fine and court costs, plus had to do 40 hours of community service. In the NBA with multiple teams in 2018, he was waived by the Magic after he was named in a report by ESPN's Outside the Lines that he'd been involved in an alleged sexual assault at Michigan State in 2010. No charges were filed in that case. Um, so th this is why, and I saw the little uh, tweet from Taylor Rooks the other day talking about support women in journalism. And we do support women in journalism. We support Taylor Rooks. We support Maria Taylor. We support uh, Doris Burt. We support Cheryl Miller. We support, I mean, you name it. You know, it, pretty much anybody that's doing their job the right way. We, people don't just go at people for no reason. It has been her actions that has made people turn their nose up at her. Um, and I think, you know, she, she can be good at her job. I just think she tries to assert her dominance too much sometimes at the wrong times. And it comes off as just like a power trip and very condescending. But why are the other people getting left off the hook? Well, That's Kendrick, the problem that I have Kendrick, right now. Kendrick, Everybody got to be held Kendrick. accountable. I, I think Taylor Rooks, you know, I think she she was wrong that time. That's not what people mad at. It's not going at women in journalism. It's going at her for the actions, you know, for her own actions and things she's doing deliberately, we feel like. Now, it's, what's going to be interesting is watching Matt Barnes toe that line with Showtime and ESPN because, you know, him working with Steven Jackson is one thing. But him working closely with Rachel Nichols after she left ESPN is going to be something because Matt shows up on NBA Today quite often. He gives his takes. He's a regular there. Um, but he also has the obligation to all the Smoke podcasts and Showtime basketball over there on Showtime. So that's one thing I'm going to be looking at. Um, and he shows his full support for Rachel just like Steven Jackson. So that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna play you this video coming from All The Smoke, um, a recent episode of the podcast. Well, I don't know if it's out yet. This could just be clips from the coming episode, but pretty much Rachel has announced that she is definitely with Showtime Basketball, and this comes on the heels of all of that Malika Andrews uh, slander. We would like to officially welcome you to the Showtime family. Yeah, you're making the announcement. Yeah, so I mean, you're part of the gang it. now, gang. Make I mean, it. Rachel is here to join the Showtime basketball team and it's really totally kind of right. help guide this ship. So it's an <laughs> honor to have you uh, on board and we're excited to be working with you. Imagine yourself working somewhere 25 years for a job and they want to use you as a scapegoat to fix something that they've been fucking up for years. It don't work like that, and that's not fair to nobody or no race. And that's how I took it. You know what I mean? And and that and it just wasn't right. And that's why I, I didn't mind um, jumping out there and standing up for you because I love you and I, and I know you. And like we said, we said earlier, we wouldn't be here without you. But people just got to put themselves in, in, in somebody else's shoes sometimes before you just jump out there and judge and just already and make it racial. You know what I'm saying? If I would be, I would be upset the same goddamn way if I've been working my life for a job for 20 years, and just because you've been, you've been messing something up your whole last 20 years, you want to use my situation to make it look better and make me take a step back on the job that I've been working for. It don't work like that, and that wasn't fair. So I understood it. Hey guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.